So we want to lead. So Shikshashtakam from Anandas Bhavaja Maharaj. Because we are leading last time uh, Taitan Chavita Murita Shikshashtakam. So here Anandas Bhavaja Maharaj uh, explain more in detail. Actually, very uh, interested. Uh, if someone can read or English. Okay. Did you? Yeah. So, Prashanta Bhaiya, <coughs> kindly read it. No, no, this is me here. So, maybe first one bus. So, everybody knows, or maybe somebody knows, <coughs> Cheto Dalpana Marijanam, Baba Maha Dabag Ni Nirbapanam, Shriya Kairaba Chandrika Bitaranam, Bidya Badu Jeevanam, Anandam Budi Bardanam, Pratipanam Puruna Murita Swadanam, Sarvatana Snapanam, Param Bijayate Shri Krishna Sankirita. Shri Yakuchi. Verse 1 All glories to the progressional chanting of Sri Krishna Holy Name, which cleanses the mirror of the heart and mind. <coughs> which extinguishes the forest fire of material existence, which, spre which spreads moonlight on the white lotus of good fortune, which is the life of the bride, named transcendental knowledge. Will you explain? Atmasem, please, please. Which, which increases the ocean of transcendental bliss, which makes us relish full nectar at every step and which thus showers the whole self. Yes, this is the, the explanation. One of the reasons of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the purifier of the age of Kali, to descend the material world was to bless the people by giving them transcendental love of the inhabitants of Raja for Krishna Chaitanya Charitamrita says Nija Guda Karya Tomara Prema Vish Aswadana Anusanga Prema Maya Koli yeah, you know, yeah, so we cannot read, you know, we, you know, we don't need to read here. Okay. Only. The secret reason for your descent is to taste love of God, to fill the three walls with this, this love was a side effect. <laughs> to fill the three words words world with this love was side effects with these two duties mahaprabhu was in incumbent encumbered through our his manifest appearance when the lord was preaching the sankirtana all over nadia he ordered his companions give the fruit of love to god to anyone at any place. After he took sannyasa, the Lord began to travel to South India and to Vraja, distributing prema all over India, even to the lions, tigers, vines, trees, and other creatures of the Jarikhanda forest. In the final 18 years, of his manifest pastimes, he stayed at Jag Jagannath Puri and became absorbed in the international reasons for his descent. For his descent 
to taste the love of Sri Radha. There was no opportunity for him to write books and the order to preach this prema. But he personally instructed his flowers such as Sri Rupa and Sanatana in this regard and had this work done through them. He himself was absorbed in transcendental emotions along with his Sri Sarupa, Dimodara, Damodara and Ramananda Raya at Puri and left only eight verses with this most confidential and essential teachings. Behind for the people of the world, the teaching of Sriman Mahaprabhu are the essence of all teachings. Everything auspicious to describe that could give peace and man satisfaction. He thus hung around the necks of the people of the world, like a necklace containing eight poles. Srila Krishna Dasa Kaviraja Goswami has included this Shikshastakam in the final chapter of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Yes. Okay. This is, so this is interesting. Mahaprabhu descend this material world by giving them the transcendent love of the inhabitant of Buraja for Krishna. So this Baba is description is actually indirectly. So what do you think this is the transcendent love of the inhabitants of Buraja for Krishna? He gave Mahaprabhu means he mm. gave his Baba. Mm. No, I'm just trying to clarify for myself what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Mahaprabhu gave the Baba of Rajabasi mm. to the uh, Jivas of this world. Mm. Yes, it's it's written in Chitan Charitamrita. Premaras, Niryas, Korita, Svadan, Raga, Marga, Bhakti, Lokti, Koriti, Pracharan. He, Koriti, Pracharan, made preaching of Raga Bhakti. Mm. Raga Bhakti means all types of Raga, means of type spontaneous attraction towards Krishna mm. in all Bhavas, mm. in parentship, in friendship, mm -hmm. and in Madhuri Rasa also, romantic relationship. Mm. But our Acharyas, who did it, because he did it uh, so much is through Acharyas, through Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Goswami, and through O Parampara. The main message is, uh, is in Madhuri Rasa, not friendship, not parentship. No, they gave uh, Ardadasyam. This is the main message. Yes. Radhadasyam. I heard one story. Okay. About why why Radhadasyam? Mm -hmm. When Krishna was small, once he uh, played with his uh, cover uh, with his boys, his friends, mm. and they as a friends started to tease him, mm. and they telling you know Krishna, actually your mother and father, not your mother and father. How possible? What are you telling? They, they are my mother and father. No, 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 look at yourself. You're duck. Mm -hmm. But your mother and father are light. How is it possible? And you know, they, at age of 50, in this age, usually people not giving birth to the children. Hmm. But really, we know the one story. One by one, they're telling like this to Krishna. Arguments. Because Krishna was not agreeing. Really, we know one story. Once Nanda Baba came to the forest and fought on the road, attacking someone in the hole of a tree. And he found where small children. And he took away this crow and took his children to the house. It was you. It was last argument. When Krishna heard this, he cried so much. I have my mother, I have my father, I am alone. He ran to the house, to his home. And crying, crying, and Mother Yashoda, he started to pacify him, but it was very difficult. 
ultimately she pacified and asked Krishna, my son, what's my seat, what's happened? And he told, you're not my mother. Who told you? My friends told. What they told? And he gave his arguments, what I'm dark, you're light. Oh, you know why? Because when you was a small, or before you took birth, we had desire with my he husband. He started to work, yeah. We had desire to get children, but special children. And, and we start, son, and we started to worship Shagram Shila. Switch off the router and do it again. The switch off and switch on. You can do no switch off and switch on. Can I see it switch? The plug. Stop it. Yes. Do it again. She will grab the phones to here, but his route are not working. And Kishori came to to found how to, what to do. No, 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 and uh, Yashoda narrated what's happened. And Purnamas thought, don't worry, Krishna. I am, how to say, uh, as altered it, <laughs> I'm telling you, everyone in Raja knows what you are, son of Yashoda and Nandrava. They own son, not adopted son. Everyone knows. They are friends just teasing you. And then Krishna... Who was Purnamasi. Purnamasi. Purnamasi came uh. in this moment and told, Krishna, everyone in Raja knows what you are, the real son of Yashoda, not adopted son, real son of Nanda and Yashoda. Because when he was born, lady was present there in the room. They saw it. The close, uh, close friends of Yashoda. It's actually written in Gopal Champo, how Krishna was born in Vrindavan by Jiva Goswami. And then Krishna asked some, his, it was secret, his desire in the heart. It was, Krishna was born in Matra, no? No. Krishna was born in Raja. It's written in Bhagavatam. It's written in Bhagavatam. Then Nanda had desire to go to Mathura for giving tax. He put Krishna on his lap and did like this from his head. It's written there, he took his own son, not adopted, it's written in Sanskrit, he took his own son, Atmaja, who was born from his body, from, who come from him, not come from outside. And also Gopi, then Gopi, uh, uh, it's, in, it's written in Gopi Gita, they tell him, this Raja glorious because you was born here. Gopi telling Krishna to Krishna. Was born in Matra, no? no! Krishna was born here. It's written by Acharis. Jiva Goswami. It's written in it's written in Bhagavatam. Also in Bhagavatam, one more evidence. Then Kamsa uh, want to kill small girl in the hand of uh, Devaki. Devaki. It's written, she is Anu, she is Vishnu Anuja, the younger sister of Vishnu. She was born from Mother Yashoda. Mother Yashoda gave birth two children, one girl and one son. First Krishna was born, and then this daughter came. What is why she is Vishnu Anuja? It was our, in our parampara, we have this message. Who is outside of this parampara? They're thinking, like Madhura Vaisi, they're thinking what he was born in Madhura. It is actually, how to say, propaganda of Madhuravati. We are Burjabasi. For us, Krishna, he is from here. It's, I'm just repeating the words of Narayan Goswami Maharaj. He gave his evidence and he gave to us this message. He came to Goku Mahavan and local Brahman start Pandu. He started to preach. 
he started to explain Krishna was born in Mathura, and then Vasudeva brought him to Vrindavan. As generally th people thinking, actually. Yeah, this is so yes, fine. yes, I know. It's it's general message what we are, we are learn from because it looks like this. If you will read Bhagavatam, it looks like this. When Narendra Samaraj heard this, he thought, you know why you are speaking like this? Because you eat too much peru from Mathura. <laughs> he told, you eat it too much. How you can re deny your own fortune? Krishna was born here, and your servant in the place of he is born. Why deny your, your fortune? It's your real fortune, happiness, and glory. Don't deny and he gave so many praman, so many evidence what Krishna was born in Vrindavan. Vrindavan which uh, in Gokul Mahavan. In Gokul Mahavan. Uh, <clears throat> it's written in Bhagavatam, Krishna Devaki Nandana. Devaki Nandana. And what does it mean Devaki? It's other name of Yashoda. It's it's one more name name of Yashoda. It's uh, what it's uh, explaining by our acharyas in our parampara, which is coming from Rupa Gasami, Raghunanda Gasami, to which belongs our Guru Dev. You can you can ask him. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hi, huh? I have just told that Krishna was born in Mathura. Then... Yes. So actually, both true. So Krishna has. Two feature Brajendra Nandana Krishna mm. and and uh, Devaki Nandana Yashoda uh, uh, Devaki Nandana Vasudeva Krishna Devaki Nandana Vasudeva Krishna Vasudeva Krishna so original Krishna is never leave Vrindavan original Krishna so but uh, some if we go to Outside Buraja, he expand Vasudeva future, you know, Vasudeva Pradimuna Aniruddha Sankarishana. Mm. So, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna is Krishna, but uh, different kind of expansion of Krishna go to Mathura. So, therefore, both is correct. So, original Krishna never, never leave Vrindava. Mm. So, anyway, so I want to this, go back to this, this subject. Uh, I not finished your story okay. about okay. why Mahaprabhu, so, why so, Krishna came as Mahaprabhu. So, who gave birth to Krishna? Yashoda Maharaj. Yashoda Maharaj? Yeah, here. In Buraja, Yashoda Maharaj. And, uh, and then, Mathura Devaki. Mathuresh Krishna was born in Mathura. Mathuresh Krishna was born in Mathura from Devaki. Rajendra Nanda Krishna was born here. So this, is, this, this is Bas Deva Krishna. Mathura is a kind of expansion Krishna. Here, original Krishna is here. So, but you know, this is a little bit deep subject, so maybe we. Anyway, Krishna, uh, he told to Parnamasi, I won't be golden, I don't want to be duck. And she told her, yeah, it's possible. You must more eat yogurt and uh, butter, makkan. She told, I already eat it so much, but I'm still dark. And she told, yes, but it's not enough. You're not, you're, you're not yet, you're not worship the golden gopis. You must worship the food dust. Smear all your body. Then the mood coming, and then you become golden. Wow. And once Krishna worshipped, really worship, most golden gopi, Srimati Radhika, in Silakunj. And after this, he came to here. Why? Because he found Srimati Radhika loves him, only him. It's called Ekanishta. She loves only him. Mm -hmm. But he could not not respond to other devotees. He loves Srimati Radhika, but he also coming to other gopis, for example. And he is thinking, how can I respond to Shimati Radhika? And he come as Mahaprabhu to distribute such a mood by which devotees will be completely belong to Shimati Radhika. They will belong to Mahaprabhu, they will be follow of Mahaprabhu, but they will give their heart to Shimati Radhika. Means they will be in Manjari Bhava. Yes, this is the story. Yes, very nice story. So he's saying, 
Radha Charampam is saying, Krishna is blackish, so he wants to become golden color. Then Purnamash is suggesting, so you can smear dust of someone who is golden, means gopis, especially Radha Rani, and then smear the body in Seva Kunja and worship Radha Rani, and then he become gets the mood of Radha Rani, and then become golden. That is the story. So, and this interesting, uh, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, uh, Kaviraj Goswami said, Mahaprabhu appear to teach Raga Bhakti. Then question is coming. What is Raga Bhakti in Buraja? But if we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, Kaviraj Goswami did not explain. Most of the time, actually almost nothing to describe Sakyarasa. Maybe some, but almost nothing. He did not describe Basara Rasa. Only describe Madura Rasa. Especially Gopi and Radha's. Especially Radha Rani's love. Only describe Mahaprabhu interesting this Gopi, especially Radha's love. So therefore, if I, we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, that Raga Bhakti means Radha Baba. What is Radha Baba? Who knows Radha Baba? Is Manjali. So actually, <coughs> Mahaprabhu came to hear this transcendent love of the inhabitants of Buraja. But who is inhabitant of Buraja? Actually, this is Gopi. Among the Gopi, this is Srimati Radharani. But the Baba explained indirectly. So, and then next sentence. <coughs> The secret reason for your descendant, secret reason of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descendant is to taste the love of God. So, what is the taste? What kind of taste Mahaprabhu want to taste the love of God with? So, we know this taste is Radharani's feeling. Radharani needs love. So who knows Radharani's love? This is Manjari. So Gurudev said, this is actually, he did not mention clearly, but this is kind of Manjari's Baba. Also, interesting. Give the fruits of love of God to anyone at any place. So question may arise, what is the fruits of love of God? This is interesting. Hmm? Yeah, but fruits of fat is fruits means fruits means fat is most tasteful thing of this love of God. This Radharani Baba and Manjari's Baba. Because Radha's Baba, Manjari's Baba is one sense same. Because Radha and Manjari is so connected. So this is very interesting. So tasting the love of Sri Radha. So this, then he say, Baba say, in the final 18 years of his manifest pastime, he stay at Jagannatha Puri, become absorbed in the internal reason for his descendant to taste love of Sri Radha. So Mahaprabhu want to taste the love of Sri Radha. So this, sorry, this is in this. <clears throat> in the first verse of Lord, verse the Lord says, the Krishna Nama Sankirtana, which cleanses the mirror of the heart, which ex extinguishes the great forest, fire of material existence, which is the moonlight that causes the lotus flower of auspiciousness to blossom, 
which is the very life of the bride of transcendental knowledge, which extends the ocean of transcendental bliss, which makes us taste the full nectar at every step, and which bath the self. Bath is the ah, self. like a bath. Bath it is the self, satisfying the senses, the mind. The intelligence upon the pure spirit soul is supreme. Prema or love of God will be manifest to everyone who offensively chants this Sankirtana that was preached to the world by Srima, Sriman Mahaprabhu, Srimat Sanatana Goswami, wrote in his Brad Bhagavatam. Nihata Bhagavatam. Nihata Bhagavatam Amrita. Explain. So, I want to share a very interesting story. Uh, no, not very interesting. So, here say, if we chant Nama Sankirtan offensively, we can get love of God to it. Then, Then, so we we may and we we may know what is the offense to the forty name, and then Baba explain second verse of uh, offense to the the uh, holy name Nama Parada. So <clears throat> I did not go through everything, but uh, I have read this this Baba's explanation. And most heinous, most dangerous offense is sadhu ninda. Means but to what say kind of uh, give some what do you say ninda means kind of. Thinking, but thinking, but thinking, thinking, but words, but activity. It's more, even more with feelings towards Vaishnava. Feeling but, say but, mm -hmm. act but. This is a kind of ninda. So, and then... The disrespect also. Yes, disrespect. And so, this, I want to share, this is very, I was so impressed by that word. So, I want to... Okay. So then question is Oka, who is Sadhu? Sadhu Ninda. So offense to the Sadhu is not good. So then question may arise, who is Sadhu? Then he said, sometimes we are thinking, we are thinking, those devotees who are merciful, non-violent, tolerant, who has good quality, that is only sad. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Sometimes we think sad is like a perfect sad. Mm -hmm. You know, very merciful, tolerant, you know, kind, well behaved. So, but here Baba said, and sometimes we think, someone who has not good quality, like ill behaved, tell lie, hypocritic, unclean. That is not sad, we are saying. But here Baba says, actually, anyone who worship God, be he deceitful, ill-behaved, hypocritical, and unclean, even though they have such quality, somehow anyone who worship God is saying sad. Mm. So therefore, to blaspheme or criticize such person 
is an offense to the holy name. Mm. So sometimes we're thinking, you know, oh, he's a neophyte. Oh, he, he does not behave nicely, therefore he's not a sadhu. But according to Vishwana Chakrabati Thakur and Anandas Bhaji Maharaj, he said, no, anyone who worship God is sadhu. Sure. This is better. Radhe, Radhe, in this case, what does mean worship? I think there are differences. Not only to say, oh yes, in the morning I love you and forget the whole day is... You know what I mean? When do someone really worship God? In, for the, in this case. So, Thank you. yeah, this is not described, but my understanding like this. Someone who has fixed Ishta Deva. Mm. So say, Oh, Krishna's my Ishta Deva. Someone who say, Oh, Krishna's my Lord. Or say, Radha Mohan is my Lord. If thinking like this, and worshiping means chanting and go to, you know, Aratic, some Seba, whatever Seba. If fixing this kind of, you know, Oh, my Krishna's my Ishta, my worship of Lord. If someone who is thinking like this, and even saying like this, that is, I, I feel this is a kind of worshiping. Worship means, uh, okay. Fixing on Ishtadirata means he already chose his heart, accepted particular Thakurji. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, like, uh, you know, one of the offenses, you know, some demigod, like Shiva Brahma, is the same as Lord Vishnu. You know, some people worship, you know, Vishnu, Brahma, Shiva, Durga, Ganesha, everybody worshiping. But uh, I think this is, you know, if worship very sincerely, or oh, he's my Lord, I think that person, or Sometimes Mahaprabhu say, Mahaprabhu's words, one devotee asking, who is Vaishnava? <clears throat> then Mahaprabhu say, even once chanting holy names Lord, this is Vaishnava. So in that Mahaprabhu sense, anyone who chant holy name, okay. even one time, that's also Vajnava, that also we may consider sadhu. Mm. What do you think? I, I remember a uh, commentary of Bhaksan Saraswati on this definition. It's, it's this definition we can find on the thief shloka of Bodhishamrita. Uh, and Bhaksan Saraswati explaining what does it mean uh, one time is chanting Harinam. This devotee received instantiation Harinam from real Guru. And he is really trying to follow his guru. Even he is kanished means uh, the beginner of beginning in devotion, but he really trying to follow as he can. And sometime the holy name once can come in his turn. This means once he chant holy name. It's according to Bhaksan Sarasati. Yeah, also true. That's also true. But the broad sense, anyone who chant Maha Mantra, because because Krishna's heart attracted, Radha's attracted. Like I say, you know, even Kri, Krish and then Radhika's was, you know, oh my God, and then Na, and then Radhika's kind of attention go to that person. Yeah. So even if someone say La, then Krishna thinking, oh, who is chanting? And then Da, then Krishna running after that person. Of course, you know, and the, from beginning, especially from beginning, they don't chant, you know, offenselessly. Like I say, please chant Hare Krishna. Hey, what is Hare Krishna, you know? I don't, you know, I don't know Hare Krishna. Just to, what do you say? Yeah, invoking. Oh. Yeah, you know, just chant, you know, what is Hare Krishna? Hare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you know, but that is not offensive, actually. 
this is kind of nama bus, but still, you know, it works. So this is maybe many argument, but uh, so, but uh, broad sense, someone who chant Hare Krishna even once, that's also broad sense may uh, understand some sadhu. And uh, more strict sense is like, uh, you know, someone who initiate, someone who is kind of, uh, you know, fixing deity, this is my worship of brother. That's also, it may be possible. But, uh, but uh, better not to... Krishna. Yes. Well, you say no, Krishna. Can you explain this, Krishna? Uh, Krish. Krish means to attract. Yeah. Krish, you mean. Yeah. Okay. It, it means. Mm. It's uh, explained, if I'm not wrong, explained by Shilarupa Goswami. Krish with a uh, root in Sanskrit means to attract. Uh, some, for example, in the name of Sankarshana, who is attracting, who is pulling. Like a karshati. Yeah, karshati. Yeah. And uh, who has such a quality, what he can attract the uh, attention of everyone. And na means to give happiness, to give enjoyment, to give um, sweetness. And this, then together, is Krishna. So therefore, I heard this. Yes, that's true. And then, therefore, Krishna's means, Prabhupada explained all, attract, all attractiveness, something. So Krishna could attract everybody or every living entity. Say Mahaprabhu was in Jarikanda, yeah. Jarikanda forest. Just Mahaprabhu chanting, walking, then tiger dancing, yeah. elephant also following dancing. All animal also, like birds also become like uh, ecstasy. So that means Krishna or Chaitanya or holy name, they attract the heart of all living entity. Mm. Is okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's problem. So they can still see us. Stop. Stop. Ah, sitting on it. Um, I will, I will be quiet. Okay. Here's everything okay, the, the others can see you. Oh. So we have a little bit of internet. Well, it's only, I think... Yeah, our problem. It's <laughs> only. <laughs> because we don't know. On the bottom. So maybe we can do it now. Okay, okay, so this is so interesting. So most careful thing is someone, someone who is chanting, someone who is worshiping, someone can bring daba. So, or any living entity, we should not offend. That is, I think, the best way. <laughs> Yes, yes. I can try. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. And then, yeah. And then, uh, Sanatana goes on with Griha to Bhagavata Murita. Uh, maybe try to switch one and switch off. Remote, remote. It's remote. Yes, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brothers and sisters. Okay, sorry. Okay, start. 
The most intimate and powerful means to attain the treasure of love of Krishna in Nama Sankirtana. It is supreme, supremely attractive just like a mantra. That is why the Rasikas are to be the fruit of devotion. In his own commentary on the this was Sanatana Goswami writes. No, no, we don't. Just eat. Some, someone may say, the food of all Sadhana Bhakti is praying. And the chanting of the holy name is just a means of its attainment. How can you then call chanting the food of devotion? The answer is because the appearance of Prema is vital to the practice of chanting. Because the appearance of prema is invitable to the practice of chanting, it has been called the fruit of devotion as well. So this is interesting. So our goal is prema, and then to some some devotee thinking to attain prema, the process is chanting. They are thinking means sadhana. Sadhya sadhana. Goal is sadhya. Sadhana is a process to attain goal. But sometimes we're thinking, oh, chanting just to attain prema. He said, but, but actually not like this. Chanting a holy name is process and also goal itself. So it is a sadhya sadhana. Same. Chanting a holy name is goal and also process. That means that what do you mean? For us, we are sadhaka, we are practitioner, we are chanting to get prayer. But also someone who is siddha, someone gets some perfection, swarpa siddhi, still he is chanting, or she is chanting. Because chanting means express feeling of love. Mm -hmm. Say, if we love, say, if we love somebody, like say, I love Russian Tabaya, then automatically names come. So, if we attain prema, automatically names come. Radha, Mohan, Krishna, come. So, therefore, Chanting Maha Mantra, we can chant Sadhana stage, also we can chant Siddha stage. If, if, if we attain Prema, still we chant because name is Prema itself. Let's say Krishna, Nama, and Nami itself. One. Radha, Radha's Nam, Radha's Nami. Radha has said also the same one in spiritual point of view. So therefore this is very important point. Nama is not only sadhana, but also sadhya, God itself. This is very important. Yes, written up for next terms that eagerness to sing Hari Nayan Krishna Radha to make the Buddha. So singing Hari Nayan is love Krishna Radha. This type of singing of Hari Nam is Radha. Yes, because uh, when I'm reading, I'm getting this desire. Wow, I also want to do it. Because Radhika want to hear her lover's name or lover's glory, lover's guna. Or sometimes, you know, want to hear lover's rupa, 
en el nam grupa guna en vida nama grupa guna hoy en vida mira 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 so if we love somebody we want to know somebody's name somebody what kind of you know teacher some what kind of you know and group. yeah and group and also we we want to know what kind of quality she has or he has what kind of vida what kind of deed she did or he did this is natural thing so therefore manja is one of the one of the seva is the kind of something kirtan or sometimes gana or singh Sometimes, you know, Krishna pain, or sometimes Radhika pain. And Manjali is singing something, and sometimes chanting. You know? So that is very difficult. Another time. So, very difficult. I don't know if it's good enough. Something can be invited to the previous room. <coughs> yes. That's very Kinandana does a singing on the song. Mm-hmm. When he is giving, he is, you know, Kinandana does work work on the song when he is giving his head to all the Vaishnavas. Mm-hmm. And he is telling, in that Vaishnavas, who was uh, in the past, in the present, and he in the future. Now we are not Vaishnavas, but I can already give him this song. Because Because according to Shai Chitanta or Jesus, so in one day we will become a child. Also, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, Kapiraj Goswami said, Someone who thinks this Vaishnav is high, this Vaishnav is low, that is the wrong conception. So, means, you know, sometimes we are material mind, we are thinking this is low person, this is high person. This is a new white person, this is old, you know, senior person. Maybe true, but uh, we don't know spiritual things. We don't know this part, person's previous activity, previous sanskar, maybe, you know, previous life, maybe great devotee. We never know. So Kaviraj Gosam is saying, we should not discriminate, this is high, this is low. We should pay obeisance to all the devotees, all the Vaishnava devotees. And this is a safe position. But we think, because, <coughs> because the other Vaishnava think I'm lowest, others highest. I, I'm lowest person. This is Tunada P, Suni Chena, Karola P, Sahishin, Amani Namara, Yudhani. So the Vaishnava is thinking, I am lowest, so therefore I pay respect to all Vaishnava devotees, and not only Vaishnava, all living entities, mm-hmm. even three dogs. So, and very nice story I want to share. One day, <coughs> a Siddha Guru there, Siddha, very nice Guru, very highest grade of Guru. So one disciple wants to take initiation, take diksha, and approach that Guru Dev. So Guru Dev, but this person is very powerful. He has so much pride. So that candidate wants to be disciple, approach Guru Dev. And then Guru Dev said, Okay, okay, I have one condition for you. So I give you one week, seven days. After seven days, you should bring more inf- in- inferior person or inferior living entity than you. If you could bring that person, I give you initiative. <laughs> Very interesting, you know. <laughs> so, and then that devotee thinking, you know, 
But this is easy. Because I'm very good to pass. I'm very qualified, you know. Very, you know, and then start thinking, you know. Oh, maybe this person, you know, is inferior than I. Then start thinking. Wait a minute. He has nice quality than I. So he starts thinking slowly, slowly, good quality by the mercy of this good man. And then he was starting thinking, oh, maybe this person, but uh, he could find out all good quality, slowly, slowly. Then he starts thinking, oh, maybe this, this animal is maybe wrong. But he starts thinking, no, this animal also has good quality. And said so they think, oh, trees, trees, not a good. But actually, no, actually, trees give us fruits, shade, and tree cut something, but he did not say anything. I say anything, you know, everything. Oh, I need this one, I need this. Then, you know, they start thinking. Yeah, and then start thinking, you know, or maybe, and then go to toilet and see the you know, stool and then warm it there. Or maybe this one is maybe incredible. But this stool actually, before, is over to the room. And then, and this is, this creature also, eating this kind of Oh my God. I cannot find out, find out any person, you know, who is lowest than I. Then, after seven days, he find out, actually, I'm the lowest person. Maybe I may not to get diksha, but I have to approach you then. Then say, he said to do them. Then I found out nobody is inferior than I. I found out by your mercy, I'm the lowest creature in this world. I bring myself in front of you. So I'm inferior than anybody else. So I'm the lowest person, I bring myself in front of you. Please, please help me. Then Guru Dev said, Now you understand. Now you have qualification to have a diction. Mm -hmm. Then Guru Dev gave diction. This time, dear story, Ananda Swami said. So, that means, you know, we are thinking, Oh, I'm senior than you. I know many things than you. I experience many things than you, but actually it's not true. Maybe true, but but we cannot say I'm higher than you. The advice I'm thinking I'm lowest. So therefore, if we think like this, we don't make any offense to any living. This is you know this is very interesting. Yeah. Sorry for another <laughs> The most intimate and powerful way to attain the pleasure of the uh, Krishna is Nama Sankirtana. It is supremely attractive just like a mantra. That is why Rasikas conscious also consider us to be food of devotion. Yes, yes. In his own commentary of um, on this voice, Sanatana Goswami writes, Someone may say, the fruit of all sadhana bhakti is craven, and the chanting of the holy name is just a mean of its attainment. Or you can get more chanting the food of devotion. 
One said it because the appearance of the Prima is invited to the first practice of chanting. It has to be called the fruit of devotion as well. Human Mahaprabhu therefore opens his Chichastam by saying, Prana, victory to chant, chanting of Sri Krishna name, it is one on the summit of spiritual practices and spiritual goal. Shivan Mahaprabhu taught Srila Sanatana Muslim. Of all the sorts of worship, the nine kind of devotion mentioned in Shivan Bhagavatam are the best. They have the great power of to bestow Krishna and love of Krishna. Of all this nine practices, the best is Mama Sankirtana. When one chants offenses, obviously one finds the treasure of love of Krishna. When one chants offenses, obviously one finds the treasure of love of Krishna. In this, there is no consideration of time and place. Qualification of disqual qualification of disqualification while beginning his teaching of Sikshastrikam, the Lord said. The Lord basically said, Listen, Surupa and Brahma, why? In the age of Kali, the best means of deliverance is Nama Sankhita. It is both the best means and the highest goal. The meaning of Sankirtana is full glorification. This has two meanings. Loudly singing with Nidanga and Vartala is called Sankirtana. In this commentary on the words of Krishna, Krishna Varnam, To give up, go. You go for it. So, Kirtanam is meeting with many people to basically send him an obstruction. And Nama Sankirtana, it is certainly the best to chant the holy name loudly. Like lovely means like uh, you know when you sing in Sanskrit. Yeah, like yeah. Sanskrit. You know, like uh, not to not to not to not to inside, but to inside. Yeah, lovely like uh, outside. You hear some other people could hear. You when you're chanting, you say you should be inside or you should also. You know, like Japa is like uh, you know we we keep quiet. But uh, this Sankirtan is like singing, like singing, like singing, like, singing, like, 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 uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, 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 Yes, but this is right. <laughs> Those who are chanting loudly are not only benefiting themselves, but they are also all other living entities. Oh. The Radha, Mataya praises, love. Vishyama Dev in the Vishyama Quran, he says, O Lord, those great souls who Lord be chant to the holy name, then Paramount bliss should be known as the greatest strength of all living and living. Chapter 14, 3, Haridasa Thakur said about Lord 
Kanji. We bring Japa soft or mental chanting and mix on one form. On one form. Not only the Yadimas, Yadims, Onsa, Onsa, but the Lord Chanter also benefits others. Therefore, all the scriptures say that Lord Krishna is a hundred times more good, more beneficial. Lord Krishna is a hundred times more beneficial. So only he feeds themselves and other three thousand people. You can easily understand which one is the best of the two. Such is the glory of Lord Chanting. Full Kirtana can also be leaving the mind of the relishing the sweetness of the Krishna and thus chanting the name with full attention, great love and affection. This means one should not chant simply to complete a compulsory daily number of plants just like a machine, without fixing one's mind. This means one should not chant simply to complete a compulsory daily number of plants just like a machine, without fixing one's mind. In this Krishna's Sandar Vakramati on Kino Bharatana, the Jiva Vasani writes, One can chant the Lord name in two ways. Devala means chanting. In such neha, neha samyukta with love. It's neha samyukta with love. An offenseless person who means chant will attain the abode of the Lord only. But when one chants with love, they'll be able to decide near the Lord and <laughs> So this Baba is okay. It's okay. So this Baba explained <coughs> chanting two ways. Quiet uh, mental chanting and also loud chanting. And loud chanting is better because other living is put here, especially Sankirita. Mm. So again he is saying chanting the Lord's name, chanting the holy name in two ways. Kevara is just chanting. Or kind of, you know, ordinary chanting. And Suneha Samyukta chanting. Chanting ordinary chanting with love chanting. Suneha, with some relations with love chanting. So what's the difference? Baba mentioned. If Sneha Sam Yukta. So if we ordinary chanting, say kind of yeah, Kevara chanting. Kevara means just pure chanting. Not that, but pure. So that Kevara chanting, ordinary chanting, we can go back to Godhead only Saroke. We don't know which kind of person. Lord is a very, very far away, but we don't know we are human or mm -hmm. we don't know. But we can go back to God. But Sreha chanting, we can go near to the Lord. Like I said, we stay in Mungiraj Mandir. Some stay very far away, room, only room may stay. Don't go to Arati, don't go to see Guru Dev, Sadhu Maharaj. Just stay in the room. That's also one way. Stay in the room, Mungeraj Maharaj. 
But some parts is very close with Gurudev, close with Diti. You know, every time you go to see Gurudev, every time you go to see the Diti, Darshan. So this kind of difference there. <coughs> so, and means, this is my comment, my feeling. Ordinary chanting is have not to direct relationship with the Lord. But Sneha chanting means we have to have relationship with the Lord. Yeah. So like I say, so like Prashanta Bhai, I know Prashanta Bhai, but if I are very far away Prashanta Bhai, and no relationship, then, oh, just Prashanta, I know Prashanta Bhai, but I don't know. But we have relations like friends. Then we chant Prashanta Bhaiya. Then loving mood is coming. Then we can go very close. Prashanta, maybe we can go eat together tonight. You know, we can go together to the temple Monday. You know, we can go shopping. We can do this. But if we very far and then chanting just the name, no relations, no feeling. So, therefore, why could they say feeling and relationship? Because with the relationship, we can go very close with the Lord. Upasana means, so we mentioned, worship means upasana. Upasana means, upa means near, asana means sit. Real worship is sit near. Then we can have some relationship. If we sit very far, it's difficult to get a relationship. That's right. Sarokya and Samitya. Yeah, and Sarokya and Sneha Samitya. Yes, Samipa is like a near. Generally speaking, Samipya means, you know, we go to Baikunta and near the road. But here mentioned we can go to the road. Samipya means not only Baikunta, also, but also we have Buraja also. Yeah. Shri Krishna told the gopis when they came to Rosheta, Oh beautiful girls, the living beings attain Amrita. In order to not community or the nectar of love or being devoted to me. Unfortunately, the love you feel for me has also been attracted me to you. These words of the Lord proclaim that love is the best way to attract them. Yes. So this may be I message. So there is a uh, Rupa Goswami mention in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Uh, sadhana Bhakti, Baba Bhakti and Prema Bhakti symptom. Prema Bhakti is one symptom is that person can attract Krishna or can bind Krishna. So, in Gopi's case, Gopi has a full of love. So, therefore, Gopi could, especially Radharani, could bind Krishna or could control Krishna. Means Krishna is under control of the Radhika. That's only possible by love. This is very interesting. So, I want to story one story. <coughs> so, everybody knows Damodara. Damorana means uh, Damo means rope, Udara means berry. So somehow bind the berry is Damodara. Usually Yashoda Maya bind Krishna, right? But Yashoda Maya, Maya to bind Krishna, it takes some time. Because Yashoda Maya's love is not so very strong. But one day, in Kartik time, Krishna 
is supposed to go to Radhika's kunja, one kunja, but Krishna become late. Radhika become very angry with Krishna. And uh, Radhika bind the golden rope in Krishna's belly. And then Krishna say, and this is Radha Damodara. Radha bind Damodara. Then Krishna said, no, 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 I'm late because Yashoda Maya have festival, you know, I have to attend the festival. You know, I'm not to go to another lady's place. No, I have just, to, you know, I have engagement with, you know, my mother. So why you are binding me? And Radhika said, okay, okay, okay. She, you know, yeah, she take out the rope. But uh, so point is Radhika's love is so strong. So Radhika bind Krishna immediately. Krishna oh, cannot yeah. say anything. But uh, Yashoda Maya's case, Krishna ran, you know, ran away. Yashoda is like, uh, try to, you know, catch him. But uh, it takes some time. Try to bind only two fingers. Length is short, shortage. So she has to, you know, bind again and again. But she could not. And finally, you know, Krishna is okay. Now your eagerness is more. Now I can bind. So this Ananda Baba said, <laughs> to bind Krishna, we have to be eager, and also <coughs> we have to be full of love. love. Full of love. That is the point. Here also Baba mentioned. <laughs> Oh beautiful girls, the living beings attain Amrita, immortality or the nectar of love. By being devoted to me, unfortunately the love you feel for me has forcibly attracted me to you. Those words of the Lord proclaim the love. That love is the best way to attract Him. The same goes to the loudly chanting of the Lord names with love. The name will attract the name. In this way, doing Kirtana with love is just called Sankirtana, complete glorification. Sankirtana means complete glorification. glorification. Complete glorification. In this first words, Sriman Mahaprabhu has glorified the chanting of Sri Krishna names in seven specific ways. First of all, he says, the chanting of Sri Krishna's holy name cleanses the mirror oh, of the this heart. Is, this is uh, Baba explained, Cheto Darpana Marjana. So, e every Sanskrit word, he divides seven. So, each seven Sanskrit sentence he want to explain now. So, first sentence, Cheto Darpana Marjana. So, what do you mean Cheto Darpana Marjana? So, this is ex ex explained, Baba explained. Yes. The chanting of Sri Krishna's holy name cleanses the mirror of the heart because the heart and minds of non devotees are stained and covered by the desires. For sensual enjoyment, the all pervading, pervading Sri Krishna's and his form, abode, etc., cannot be reject, reflected on them. The clearer a mirror is, the clearer the, an object can be reflected in it. Similarly, the more the mirror of one heart is cleansed through the process of Sri Krishna, Sankirtana, and the more sweet forms of qualities of Sri Krishna can be reflected in it, the Padma Purna states. i read this again. The chanting of Sri Krishna's holy name cleanses the mirror of the heart. Mm. Because the heart and minds of non-devotees are stained and covered by desire mm. for sensual enjoyment. Mm. The all pervading Sri Krishna's and his form, abode, etc., cannot be reflected on them. The clearer a mirror is, the clearer an object can be reflected in it. Mm. Similarly, the more the mirror of one heart is cleansed, cleansed through the process of Sri Krishna Sankirtana, the most the sweet form of qualities of Sri Krishna can be reflected in it. The Padma Purna states, 
one of the best brahmanas through the chanting of the holy names of the powerful lord vishnu or krishna all senses destroyed just at the as the darkness is destroyed by the appearance of the day i cannot find any better way for loving for living in that peace to be purified from all the sins that then the process of hari kirtana hmm. she she sanatana goswami comments on this i cannot see any other means by which one can atone for all sins and destroy desires to commit them as well in order to get the result of any kind of spiritual practice the one must first purify the heart in order to get the result of any kind of spiritual practice one must purify the heart without purification of the heart no spiritual practice can become successful wow oh. so this say uh, baba say if we our heart is not clean then we cannot real spiritual practice so baba say our mind our heart should be clean otherwise we could not perceive krishna or if we are contaminated state we cannot we cannot advance in spiritual life so to chanting from beginning stage is cheto darpana majana it's cleaning the mirror of heart and mind say like if if we go bathroom the mirror is there sometimes mirror is some kind of what say steam or some kind of dirtiness then we cannot see our face so similarly if we clean our mirror of heart or mirror of mind then we can see our soul or our ishta day but without clean clean cleaning process he said it's impossible and we cannot do any spiritual so the we are chanting the holy names of all powerful lord vishnu or krishna all sins are destroyed just as in the darkness is destroyed by appearance of the day i cannot find any better way for the living of entities to be purified from all the sins that the process of hari kirtana shila sanatana goswami comments on this i cannot see any other means by which one can atone, atone all the sins and destroy desires to commit them as well in order to get the result of any kind of spiritual practice one must pur- first purify the heart wow. we want to desire to any kind of spiritual practice yeah to be hard we must first purify the heart without purify the heart no no, no spiritual process get to the desired this is very today uh, read one quotation mike mike okay so that today it was in our lesson a quotation and the double jamaraj sri reading but the best way to make the heart is clean from all kind of dirty things like lust desires envy angerness it's to, uh increase rada dasya abhiman hmm? rada dasya abhiman ah. thinking i am rada dasya this is the best way and it's connected to the uh thinking of holy name because in other place under Gopi Maharaj telling to sing to chant radhanam as a best sadhana radhana all, all, all manjari sadhana all the means of manjari sadhana coming just through radhanam also today in front of hong kong devotees eh, eh, easiest way to get prema is do madukari oh yeah it's very interesting 
<laughs> he told that. So if you go mad, Gary, you, you, you know, you'll cry. She has come in. <laughs> and humbleness also come in. Yes, he thought it's real broke your false ego. And also false ego is broken. Because uh, this false ego is a problem. False ego prevent us to advance spiritual life. Actually, you can say some sentence was Madhukari is for the devotees here. Ah, okay. I think they are more Okay. Some devotee may not know Madhukari. So Madhu is a bee, like a bamboo bee. So bamboo bees go to fly, flower to flower, to pick up some kind of honey. But, uh, you know, but honey goes to little bit take one flower, and go to another flower a little bit take it. So this madhu, like madhu do, we do bake the food from other house, but a little bit. So it Shastra say, sadhu should go to seven house. And if, if, if somebody does not give anything, then stop it. If nothing comes and then fast, and if many things comes and then distribute it. So, in especially Brindavan, some sadhu do madhukari, go to, you know, Brajabhasa's house to house. I don't know, some devotee is seven, some devotee is many house maybe go. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a Brajabhasa give us some kind of boga like rice or atta, mm -hmm. etc. Or some devotee give us roti, chapati, and sabji, or something, sweets or something. So anyway, idea is we bake food from, say, from other householders. Then at that time, we, we have to be very humble to bake something. And then we can understand the mercy of the Lord. Because by the mercy of the Lord, we can get the food also. But in this material world, we are thinking, oh, I'm getting this money from this company. I'm getting so much money from my job. Then we easy to forget the mercy of the Lord. But if sadhu always depend on the mercy of Krishna or mercy of the you know devotee. So if we do madhukari, we could feel it. Or actually, this is the mercy of Lord, or this is mercy of Vaishnava, or mercy of Brajavasi, we can get food. Without mercy, we can we can we cannot do anything that we can understand by this Madhukari. So Gurudev used to do Madhukari before. So we also now, we sometimes we are doing Madhukari and then we are so much learning from this activity. So in Madhukari we just get the food or something else? Yeah, sometimes food, sometimes because in Indian tradition, Vedic tradition, if sadhu goes and uh, say host or a kind of, you know, householders, they have to give something, this etiquette. And then sometimes they may ask, oh, what do you want? Sometimes sadhu could ask another thing other than food. For example, once, one sadhu visit Hadai Pandit's place, Hadai Pandit Nityanan's father. So one sadhu came, and then Hadai Pandit is a real Brahman. So he's asking, what do you want? What can I do for you? He's asking the sadhu. Oh, you need food. I can give food. But sad, sadhu said, no, I don't need food. I need one, one thing I want to need. Please give me. What is one thing? I need your son, Nitai. 
as my personal servant. Hmm? My personal servant, I'm old man. I need one, one young boy who can accompany with me, who can do my manual service. I need that person. I found your have son, Nitai. Give me Nitai. And then Hadai Pandit was completely shocked because he said, what do you want? Mm. What can I do for you? Then Sadhu said, Vedic culture has to follow. Who feels the desired Sadhu? So, and then Hadai Pandit crying, okay, I give you my Nita. Because you are begging me and my position, I'm householder, I have to give to you, to please you. So sometimes, sometimes food, sometimes sadhu may ask another thing from some person. So this is, I don't know, some depend on the sadhu. But generally speaking, at least we have to give some, if nothing there, we have to give some seat to, some seat to sit, some sitting place, or some water, well, at least kind words that we should do this. And if possible, we should feed sadhu or fulfill sadhu's desire. That is a householder's duty. But in Western world, we forgot everything. We are thinking, oh, I can enjoy this money, this food, this kind of mentality. But in Buraja, Still, Brajamashi want to give some food or, you know, anything to, to the, the sadhu. Mm. <clears throat> Is it okay? Excuse me. Without purification of the heart, no spiritual practice can become successful. The path of jnana, 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 the path of jnana, intellectual spiritual realization, and those who may destroy sins also. But along with the, this, along with the sins, they are also burning the heart. Only the chanting of the holy name can wash the mind and heart. Just like Ganga water and make it pure and clear. There is another valuable reason why the heart of the chanter easily becomes purified. If the Lord hears of his holy name uttered by whosoever, he becomes very attracted and all and will give him either his potential audience personal audience or will shower him with his grace in some other way. In this way the grace of the great saint, faith and affection awakens and the goal is reached by taking shelter of, of the lotus feet of Sri Guru. In this devotional scripture this is called Bhajana Kriya. Huh? Yes, so Bajana Kriya, yeah, Baba mentioned. Bajana Kriya is do Baja, and Kriya means doing. And uh, especially here, Baba mentioned uh, to chanting holy name, also one process of Bajana Kriya. And also taking shelter with Guru Dev and give the mercy, give a kind of mantra, initiation. And then we can start chanting mantra, chanting, you know, holy name. So this also one part of Bajana Kriya. Then through Bajana Kriya, so many people know the nine process of bhakti. And, uh, Nine. Sadhu Sangha first. <coughs> uh, no, uh, sorry. Add, sorry. Shuraddha. Add, Shuraddha. Shuraddha faces first. 
But I think from faith before faith also sadhu sangha there. Yeah. Yes. Actually from sadhu sangha faith coming and then more intimate, the more intimate sadhu sangha coming. Mm -hmm. The second sadhu sangha, sadhu one is bhajana kriya, taking shelter with Gurudev and do some bhajan or some, some devotion practice. Then heart is clean. Then anarta nibriti is coming. Anarta, anarta is unwanted thing. This fourth stage. Unwanted things? Unwanted, like kind of, you know, material desire, some ego, like, you know, like many bad quality, we say. Arta means some money, wonderful thing. Anarta means different, no unwanted, no arta. This is anarta in, in the heart. So, and five things we have nishta, strong faith. This is five. And six is okay. No, ruchi after nishta. Yeah, after nishta, a ruchi is coming. Some taste is coming. And after ruchi, asakti is coming. Asakti is more taste, more fixing more kind of increasing and then uh, wow. and baba that is coming that means kind of love but beginning love like kind of sprout of love mm -hmm. and then final stage is prema is coming so baba explain this cheto dalpana marjana is is kind of cleansing process Say, like, uh, but you know, do bhajana kriya, then anarta means that this thing with the heart is gone. So, like, Baba is saying, like, this. Can you read again, say, step by step? Okay, first is shuraddha, ado shuraddha, then sadhu sangha is second. Third one is, is bhajana kriya. Fourth one is Anarta Nibriti. Then Shuratta, uh, no, no, uh, Nishta is coming, five. Sixth one is Ruchi, taste. Seventh one is Asakti, more deep attachment, more eagerness. And eighth thing is Baba, sometimes we say Rati, in the kind of sprout of love, in the beginning of love. And then nine stage of prema. So usually every devotee goes through this this nine step one by one, generally speaking. So some person say you know difficult to go to you know anarta nibriti or difficult to get to you know baba prema. Maybe true, but also if if we practice bona fide Guru's instruction, if we practice properly, then we can attain the Prema Prayojana. In this way, by the grace of great saint, faith and affection awakened and the goal is reached by taking shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru. And the devotional scripture, this is called Vajana Kripa. Vajana Kripa. Wow. So this actually, we need the mercy of sadhu. Without the sadhu, we cannot do bhajan. So kripa means mercy. We need sadhu of kripa and also holy name of kripa, bhajan's kripa, blessing. blessing. But without blessing, we cannot do anything. Uh, maybe, maybe, yes, maybe at the time, maybe stop it. <laughs> 